What's up guys, it's Dan and Tom here from Table Tennis Daily and today we're going to be reviewing the new Tomokazu Harimoto LC Blade. Harimoto! And here it is, the Japanese Wonder Kid Harimoto has got his own blade out of Butterfly and I have to say this thing looks fantastic. I love the design, different shades of blue on the handle and also the lens, it's got a bow on it which represents his family so it's got a nice personal touch. Now to be truthful, this blade is very similar indeed to the Inner Force ALC in terms of composition and makeup. So they're both seven ply, both have two layers of outer wood being limber and then the inner ply being carbon. Now the idea behind having two layers of wood and then the carbon is that it gives you more of a softer contact, more of a woody carbon feel. Whereas for example, a blade that uses just one layer of outer wood and then the carbon gives you more of a carbon harder contact, such as a bow LC. Now there is a slight difference between the two. The Harimoto is a touch wider than the Inner Force, only by a couple of millimeters, which means it can come in a bit heavier. Some people reported it's coming at 94 grams. This one I have here is 90 grams. Inner Force usually around 88 grams. Throughout the review, we use 10 Geo 5 on both sides. Now let's get back to the studio with Tomokazu Maynard. Let's go. All right guys, let's get stuck in. This thing really is a spin monster, playing top spin strokes from forehand to backhand, and it feels really nice and balanced. You get a medium to high arc with a lot of top spin and safety. Can't explain to you how crisp it feels and nice on the blocking. What? I must admit with blocking, I have to feel like, usually with the bio, you have to make quite a lot of adjustments all the time and thinking about it. Yeah. This I just put my bat there. Really? But obviously the technique's still got to be there, but. <laughs> I've invented a bat where you just stick it there and it goes on. <laughs> hey, great. That's a great block. Let's have a look. But yeah, literally, I don't have to make much adjustments. Now let's move on to spin-ups against backspin. Now the Harimoto ALC really engages the ball due to the soft outer plies. You can generate loads of spin with confidence. In terms of how much spin I was producing, if you see here with my backhand flicks and backhand open-ups, I was causing a lot of problems for Tom, he was blocking out. I feel I was getting more spin than my bowl ALC, simply just because the ball soaks into the blade more, so you really are able to grab the ball and produce a lot of top spin. <laughs> Although the blade produces a lot of spin, I found I had to make a slight technical adjustment by accelerating upwards a bit more than I usually would with a bowl ALC to get the ball over the net. <laughs> Here's a side-by-side -side comparison to understand the speed differences between a Harimoto blade and then a harder carbon blade like a BioLC or a Viscaria. Now the Harimoto blade does come off the bat a bit slower. It's not as hard and direct as a Viscaria or BioLC. I could definitely hit the ball and crunch faster with a bowl or a Viscaria. But with the Harimoto, what it does give you is a lot of consistency and a lot of feeling during the topspin stroke. Now guys, counters for me really stood out with this blade. It really excelled. It reminds me of playing with a Hanoki type blade. With little effort, you can counter with ease. It just feels really snappy. <laughs> yes! Nice. Now, before we go into some points, I really enjoyed how well this blade reacted over the table when touching short. Its softness means that the ball soaks into the blade nicely, making touching pretty effortless. For example, with my bowl ALC, I have to be a bit more precise and just a bit more careful when I'm touching. With the Harimoto ALC, it was easier. <laughs> uh. 
Now here's some open points between me and Tom, always a lot of fun. Similar to the touching short, serving works very well with this blade. Due to the forgiveness it has and the time you have on the ball during the serve, it really bites into the ball when you accelerate with the wrist. <coughs> Yeah. So there we go guys, the Harimoto ALC blade. For me, the number one standout attribute about this beast is literally the ease of use in the rally. I mean, when you're in the rally having to block, counter, or stay close to the table, the feeling you get is really something. And I think that's what's been so successful with the Inner Force blade as a whole. The Inner Force blade has a lot of control. I mean, it's not the fastest blade in the world. The Bow ALC and the Viscaria is quicker than the Harimoto blade. But you know, the control aspects and the feeling is what you're getting with this blade. So against backspin and just having all round general control. Now, if you know what an Inner Force blade plays like, there's not that much difference between the two. I feel the Harimoto is a touch quicker. I think because it's a bit heavier, it does feel a bit more crisp and, and, and faster, whether that's just psychological. And also it's got nice brand and Harimoto and I'm fine into it. I don't know, but it does feel just that bit quicker when I was directly comparing the two. I'd recommend this for players who love carbon blades, but are not a big fan of the carbon blades that are just too quick. And especially when you're under pressure and make mistakes, this thing is fantastic for that control element when you're under pressure. It's got a great soft touch, but also when you want to go for power, the carbon kicks in. Now it's not to say that this blade will work for beginners. You do have to have proficient technique with this. Make sure that you're at a certain level, you're a few years in, you've got good technique, and then you can go in something like this. If you do find, let's say, the bow ALC a bit too quick, this thing is absolutely spot on. And you know, you may end up playing like Harimoto one day. So right now, the Harimoto blade sits on the Butterfly website at 149 euros, which is the same price as Inner Force. So do you get an Inner Force or a Harimoto? Personally, I'll go for the Harimoto right now. Now, all this good stuff, are there any drawbacks to the Harimoto blade? There's not many. Some people are reporting online that the handle feels quite thin. To me, it feels fine. I'm used to a bow LC handle. There's not a lot of difference in it, but some people are reporting that it feels quite thin. It's not as fast as a blade like a Viscaria, but again, what you're getting with this is the control aspects, the feeling and the soft touch. Guys, really hope you enjoyed this review. I had a great time with Tom reviewing this Harimoto blade. Hopefully one day we can all play that Harimoto. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? But guys, be sure to like this video, subscribe. Let us know in the comments if you've tried this blade yet. Thanks so much for watching. That was Harimoto Blade. Signing out now. See you soon.